Okay, here we go. Uh, we're going to do problem number two, and from your worksheet, we're going to do problem two and three. These, uh, this is the washer method, a rotation other than x or y axis. And so in this example, we have y equals x, y equals 0, x equals 2, and we're rotated around x equals 3. So this is uh, kind of an interesting problem, a little bit uh, different for you, something you maybe haven't seen before. Uh, what does y equals x look like? A line, very good, tell me more. Straight, all lines are straight, 45 degrees, thank you. Okay, so that's my line. What does y equals zero look like? That's the x-axis. And what does x equals two look like? Vertical line. So that's my region. I can't just tell you how to come up with the region on your own. You really got to be able to think about your graph and your boundaries and do it from there. We're rotating it around x equals 3. If I rotate this around x equals 3, I should come up with a similar shape over on the other side. Are we okay with that? Since I have a horizontal rotation, I'm going to use a horizontal rectangle as I rotate this around. Everybody convinced by that? Or any questions how I generated that? I'm going to draw my washer right here. What makes the inside, the middle? X equals 3. What makes the inside of the washer? What makes the outside of the washer? X equals Y. Question. Somebody tell me why did I do the left side instead of the right side? That's where my original area is taken from. So you have to do that. Or you would have to rewrite the problem to work over here. Alright, go get some brain food, come on back smart. So now it comes uh, for a lot of people the most confusing part is determining the radius. Well this inside radius Somebody tell me what the length of that inside radius is. One. How do you come up with one? Actually, tell me what you did. Three minus two. I want to be clear that what you actually did is you took the right minus the left. Correct? For example, if I want to know the distance between negative three and five on a number line, well, I take negative three minus five or five minus negative three. You have to do the right minus the left. And you're like, well, that's easy. Duh. Well, then what if I do this? What's the distance between negative 3 and negative 1? Well, it's 2, but you only get that by doing this. Correct? You have to take the right minus the left. And so here we have it. Right minus left will give us 1. So in this situation, as we look at the larger radius, the larger radius is equal to what? minus y. What is our thickness? dy. So that's why it's in terms of y. Well, somebody caught that early on, so good job. <coughs> we express the integral of the, well, the volume of one of these would be pi times 
our large radius, what's our large radius? U minus y, that quantity squared, minus our small radius, 1 squared times the width. So that would be 1. How many are we going to do? An infinite number. We say that so simply, but it just means we insert an integral. What is in the lowest part of my y values for my bounds? 0. What is the top part of my y values for my bounds? So that is our integral setup. I'll give you your study guide tomorrow. Part of your study guide asks that you simply just set up the integrals. You don't actually solve the whole problem all the way through. It's a long study guide. I could give you the day before the test if you prefer. What do you do when she stops making eye contact? All right, okay. So we'll multiply this out. We have 9 minus 6y minus y squared minus, uh, minus 1. dy. So um, 9 minus 1 is 8. 8 minus 6y minus y squared dy. Um, this is nice because I have 0 in the denominator. Uh, or I'm sorry, 0 as my initial bound, so therefore, as I plug 0 in, I'll get 0. What's the antiderivative of 8? Eight? 8y minus 3y squared minus y cubed over 3 evaluated again 0 and 2. 16 minus 2, two squared is 4 times 3 is 12, 8 thirds. We get pi times 4 minus 8 thirds, pi times 4. What did I do? Okay, sorry, I, could, I did the problem incorrectly uh, right now, but I did it right first hour. Um, let's just look. It's a very simple fix. When you multiply this out, we get uh, 9 minus the 6y. That should be plus y squared, correct? Should have said it. Should have told me. Missed it. So there we go, 12 thirds plus 8 thirds gives us 20 pi over 2. There we go, simple little mistake. Obviously a lot of work to be done in these problems. Uh, yes, I make mistakes from time to time on this. Uh, you, know, you will as well. There's just a lot of a lot of things going on. Okay, ready for the next one? One more problem and then uh, just so I've done two of them for you. Okay, what does the graph of x plus y equals 3 look like? Flip a negative 1 where the y enters. What's the x and y intercept? 3 and 3, right? Yep. That's my line. What does x equals 1 look like? How about y equals 1? Everybody see my shaded region? Okay, 
is I rotate that. So right now as I'm <coughs> rotating this uh, vertically, I will have a vertical rectangle. And as you slice off that vertical rectangle, you can see that you have all this space in the middle. Hi there. How are we doing? Never better. <coughs> Inside. a rather big drawing, so what I'm going to do is I am going to use my drawing to place in my dashed lines. Thank you. Okay, what creates the middle? What creates the inside part of the washer. X plus Y is equal to 3. We'll solve here in a second. What is the bottom? Y equals 1. What is the width of the washer? DX. Horizontal width, horizontal thickness. So that means I need to have an X variable. That's not the case right here. So you solve, and as Colton said, you get y is equal to 3 minus x. Little r. Instead of going right minus left, we will go top minus bottom. What is the top? Or minus the quantity 3 minus x. The larger quantity. Top minus bottom. 4 minus 1 is 3. Uh, 4 minus the quantity, 3 minus x, what does that simplify to? So will the x be positive or negative? Positive, so an x plus a 1. Yes. Take ours from the middle to the outside. So the volume of one of these will be the large, remember our formula is pi times big R squared minus little r squared, okay? So we've got pi times big R squared will give us 9 minus little r squared will be x plus 1 quantity squared dx. And we need to integrate, we need an infinite number of these. Will my bounds be x values or y values? They will be x values. So, would everybody agree that those two black lines represent the horizontal bounds of integration? What is the first one? What is the second one? My drawing really is the scale. 
it would be the intersection between y equals 1 and x plus y equals 3, right? That's what you have to think about. So yes, it would be 2. 2 and 1. So if you just want to think about the intersection of the lines. Again, your drawing might do a good job representing. You might be able to look at your drawing and see something like that. So I'm looking for this x value right there, right? And that's the intersection between y equals 1 and the line x plus y equals 3. And if I substitute 1 in for y, the x value is going to be this. Um, the 1 is easier to see because it's, you know, x equals 1 is actually a, you know, the vertical line. That one's a little bit harder to see. Again, you look at the intersection between the two lines. Okay, so now we integrate. Pi times the integral, 1 to 2 of 9 minus, I have to distribute my negative all the way through. This would be a negative x squared minus a 2x minus a 1 dx or pi times the integral, 1 to 2, of 8, minus x squared, minus 2x, dx. Your pi times antiderivative of 8, 8x, antiderivative of x squared, 2 go to 3, antiderivative of 2x, squared, be evaluated, 1, 2, so I plug in 2, then I have to plug in 1, 16 minus 8 thirds minus 4, plug in 1, I get 8, Minus one third minus one. So sixteen minus eight thirds minus four minus eight plus a third plus one. Combine some like terms here. Sixteen minus four is twelve. Minus eight is four. Plus one is five. Negative eight thirds and positive one third make negative seven thirds. So you have fifteen thirds minus seven thirds. Eight pi over three. Again, um, important to step back and look at the problem at the beginning. Um, if somebody would ask you to accomplish that uh, you know, two weeks ago, it would laugh and say, "Like." like uh, did pretty quick. Uh, your assignment is eight problems in length. Um, I've done two for you, so we have six left. The answer sheet is posted. I do not have it posted online, but it's posted up there. I'll try to get it up online uh, before the end of the week. So uh, that's it. Uh, tomorrow we do cylindrical shells.